Hi, Fish Pond. I have a great letter I story for you today. Can you find the letter I here? It's kind of stuck in the spider web, isn't it? There it is right at the top. See, there's one line down and then two little lines on the top and the bottom. There it is, the letter I. I can say I and I can say I. Here it's saying I. I'm trying to love spiders. Do you like bugs? Some people do and some people don't. And that's okay. That's just part of the way God made you. Let's find out what happens. Look at all the different kinds of spiders. We've got a really big spider outside the kitchen window at our school. It's about that big. I don't know if you can tell on the video, but that big, pretty big. But he's not a kind of spider that can hurt you. And he's really cool to look at. He's got a great web. I'm trying to love spiders. It isn't easy. I keep telling myself spiders are cool. I want to love them. See, me plus spiders forever. I mean, spiders have been around for a really long time, moving silently, swinging into action. I want to think of them like bug ninjas. Like this spider right here. I'm going to try really hard to like him. Maybe if I study him for a little while, I think it's working. Yeah, it's moving. Squish it, squish it, squish it. Ooh, that didn't work out. But next time will be better. Next time I'll focus on all the cool superpowers spiders have, like eight eyes. Let's count them together, okay? One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoa, can you imagine having eight eyes? I can't. And spider webs, spider webs are cool. Spiders spin webs out of protein packed spider silk they make themselves. That's like you or me building our house out of our hair and then catching food on it. That'd be a really gross way to get your pizza, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm, I'd rather call for delivery. Some spiders even have billions of tiny hairs called scopulae on their legs that let them stick on walls or ceilings or, <gasps> oh my gosh, there's a spider stuck on there. Smash it, squish it, get it right now. We're not very good at loving spiders just yet. If only spiders were more like things that I really love, like burritos and soccer and rocket ships. Instead, their closest relatives are also totally gross. These are the arachnids. Scorpions also gross. Ticks, also gross. It's not like I'm scared of every icky thing, it's just something about spiders. Maybe it's the fact that almost all spiders are venomous. Spiders can't chew very well, kind of like a baby sister. They need liquid foods. And no one's invented a tiny spider-sized blender just yet. So spiders have to rely on their venom to dissolve their dinners, making bugs soft and slurpable. Gross. But to be fair, while there are about 40,000 known species of spiders, only a few can bite humans. And even fewer can harm you with their venom. Here's two of them. That's the female black widow spider. 
and you can tell this one by the red hourglass on its underbelly. And this is the brown recluse. It has a violin shaped marking on its back, right there in the middle. Do you see? Wanted, dead, or smashed a lot for being poisonous enough to ruin your day. Fatal spider bites are so rare, you have a better chance of getting struck by lightning. Oh my gosh. Okay, don't panic, but there's definitely a spider over there. Do you see it? And we're not going to squish it this time, okay? Right? Well, let's just try to pet him, maybe? Can you pet spiders? Okay, let's try. Ooh. I'm feeling very brave right now. Ah, ah. Whoops. Nope. We squished him again. I'm never gonna love spiders at this rate. Maybe I should focus on what spiders are really good at. Like eating bugs. That's gotta be helpful, right? A single spider can eat over 75 pounds of bugs in a year. That's like a really big dog. It's a lot of bugs. I've even heard that some farmers use spiders to keep harmful insects out of their crops. Look, it's a spider scarecrow. Cool, right? <laughs> I don't think that's what they're talking about though. And, oh wait, it looks like some of those bugs made it over here. Get out of here, bugs. I can't even read my book with all these. Hey, what's that spider doing? Oh, look, he caught all of those icky bugs. Can you see that? Wow. Thanks, little guy. That was really impressive. Here are some spider presents for you. Aw, did you make that for me? Do you see the heart there? I think I might finally love, ah, cockroach, squish it, smash it, make it go away. Well, one thing at a time. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this spider story as much as I do. Goodbye, fish pond. Have a great day.